Now, last time, I told you to be happy. <laughs> and now we are going to talk about karma. <laughs> I'm glad you are in a good mood. <laughs> now, thing is, this is a rather maybe dry subject, technical subject, because it's a very complex thing, this law of cause and effect. And uh, I want to give you as much as possible practical points that the Master has given us so that we can be safe and avoid the infinite variety of pitfalls. There is another point, and that is the conflict between our free will and bad karma. As I said before, quoting the Master, that God has created all men with the same powers of accomplishment. But, we have, through going against that law of cause and effect, as a result, we have diminished and limited that free will. And some people do not have very much because they have all piled up a lot of karma, bad karma. Now, we should not look at bad karma just as a form of punishment. This is a negative attitude. In the contrary, we should look at it as a challenge, a challenge to bring forth that greater determination and willpower to undo, to overcome adversity and obstacles. And it is rightly said that some obstacles, adversities, cause some men to break and some men to break records. And when you look at histories of the various saints, you see very often it is just because of severe obstacles, great suffering, that they changed, that that brought them out of a rut of an ordinary worldly material existence. And they used that determination and turned to God and became saints. So never think in terms of punishment or dwell on the limitations. And this very often happens, particularly in the beginning, when a person begins to practice yoga, practice to meditate, and he finds, I'm so restless, I have such, such terrible habits, and my body doesn't want to sit still, my mind goes a million miles an hour. I am not meant for this. Nonsense. It simply means, why are we restless? Because we have engaged in activities which produce restlessness. And so the karma is there. But if a person keeps on practicing, then through right actions, right thinking, right attitudes, that restlessness producing karma is overcome. Same thing with a life force. That life force automatically usually goes out and down, outward, into the wrong channels. Why? Because we have engaged in wrong activities, too much in materialistic activities. And now, simply through practicing of the techniques, we are reversing, we are changing the patterns of our thoughts, changing the patterns of the flow of life force. And then after a while, gradually it becomes very simple, very easy, because that life force has been accustomed to flow inward more and upward into the higher chakras where the divine consciousness is.